hey everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial so today we will creating this beautiful slide and this is a database slide and much more suitable for reporting purposes and this slide can do good in case you want to create a business report or project status report project performance report any report where you want to showcase some charts with data so this design will look very good as it is very clean and neat i hope you will like this tutorial so please support us by hitting the subscribe button and hit on the like button as well and do not forget to hit the bell icon and also you can share your thoughts in the comment section below so let's start the tutorial and as you can see on your screen the slide is blank at the moment now go to insert and select this rounded rectangle and reduce its roundedness now remove its outline as well now the next step is fill gradient color as you can see I have already selected a gradient color so I have selected this blue on one of the gradient stops and on the second gradient stop I have used this red color. Now our shape is ready we have to apply shadow so go to shadow effects apply this offset bottom right shadow and adjust the shadow parameters to make it look realistic. Now align it in the middle and our shape is ready. Now we need a chart to add on this shape. For that we have this dummy data. Now select this data here. Go to insert. Go to recommended charts. Select stacked area chart. Click OK. Cut Ctrl X and paste Ctrl V on the slide. Now remove all of these unwanted chart items like title, these lines and these numbers. Now select the chart, extend its height and width. Now select the font, open sans, select font color to change the font color to white. Now let's fill white color and apply this shadow offset top right. Increase the blurness and your chart is ready. Now to go to insert, let's do something here to beautify this chart. We will write sessions here and select change the font to open sans change it to uppercase character spacing very loose align it middle increase the font size i think we should make it bold to make it look more beautiful first change the font color to light gray and change the font style to open sans extra bold now it is looking much better and more beautiful now we have this empty area air and we will use it for branding so let's write here okay let's write company name like for example I have written creative winners change it to uppercase Increase character spacing and change the font to open sans. Now reduce the font size. We want to keep it very small. And change the font color to light gray color. And place it in the corner, top left corner. Now go to insert and we will write the data here. The crux of the data. The main data item here like what you have achieved from this graph 
you can mention it here in large in a very big font size so I've applied gradient color on the text I think we should use agency FB for text as it makes the text more boxy and more beautiful so our text is also ready and we will write here now some heading and description describing about this chart and this number here for that go to insert insert text box and it is very pre uh, very easy and you already know that how to do it write heading again change the font to open sans click uppercase and select light gray color duplicate the title and we will use it for dummy description let's write lorem and number of paragraphs you want i have entered two so i've got two paragraphs reduce the font size justified and yes the slide is ready now let's see what else we should do here i'm just placing it in the middle so let's pick a small rectangle and we will use it for page number remove its outline and apply a very light gray color and write edit text and write a page number here for example if it is the second slide you can write two so I've written two here now we should also write page P A G E as a page number reduce its font size and change it to open sans and place it near the rectangle here so now it is done now insert a text box here and we will write the title of the slide here so let's write analytics report now change it to uppercase and increase the character spacing change the font color as well I think we should keep it blue but let's see first pl uh, place it here change the font to open sans and reduce the font size a bit I have kept it 14 so let's place it here now insert another text box you can also duplicate it and write the financial year here and I'm thinking we should apply one of the gradient color to analytics report and the red one to the financial year so let's do that first justify it to first align it to right and apply the red color and blue color on the analytics report so our slide is almost ready and i hope you liked it so uh, we can do one more thing to make the background look more beautiful so let's do that so we will apply and add two shapes in the background to make it more beautiful so let's apply this hollow circle you can try different shapes as well but i generally prefer this hollow circle as it looks much better than other shapes in the background so i have added two circles in the background so draw this circle and send to back and um, add very light gray color so as you can see on the screen it is looking very beautiful now the slide is ready and let's see in the full screen in the slideshow mode so it is looking really beautiful and this is just one slide you can create multiple slides with different charts and apply morph transition to make it more to make it look more beautiful 
so let's do one thing in my next video i will take this chart as a base and i'll create multiple slides with different chart designs and then i'll apply the morph transition so let's do that i hope you like the design of this slide if you liked it so please hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comment section also please subscribe to our channel to support us so thank you very much have a nice day peace